Hi, welcome back to Healthy Ambitions. I'm Dr. Tammy, and I'm here with my guest from the truck patch, and we were kind of joking a little bit before break about the old Pizza Inn building and what great things you've done with it. And Gil, I didn't give you much notice, but I thought this might be a good time to maybe show them some of the pictures of the place so they could kind of get an idea of what it looks like when they go in there. Very different. Very, very different. different yeah. yeah, and and you were saying that you kind of wanted one of those um, organic home stores to right. our community where usually right. you only have those in the bigger communities. Right, and right. We did kind of a mixture of we wanted it to be, you know, a lot of local food and mixed with kind of a, a big natural, a natural food market. So we've kind of done a mixture of both. We buy a lot of local foods. You can see there um, we've, we've got a big variety of, of produce. A lot of that's local from, there's about 12 farmers we work with in the area and then a lot of it is is organic product and um, then of course you can see we've got a full grocery selection including mm -hmm. a large supplement room. Um, those jams or? Those are actually or? bulk teas. Oh, those bulk are bulk teas. teas. Okay. We have bulk okay. spices, teas, oh, wow. um, there's some bulk herbs right there so mm -hmm. those are a lot of loose leaf teas. I mean you can see the dairy section behind. We have farm eggs, all sorts of great dairy products including a fresh meat case which is a little different. You can come get steak. Uh, and that's organic meat as well. There's no like we've hormones got no or? hormones. The, the cows were not given hormones um, or antibiotics, which that's one of the big things. You know, if you start looking at food today, that's one of the reasons we all I know believe and live like we do. The more we read and the more we've learned, we find that our food sources are not quite what we'd hoped. Um, you know, and, and meat is a very good example because most meat that you get has been given. The, the, the beef was given um, antibiotics and hormones. That's pretty standard in our um, in our country today. And it's scary when you came out and visited the clinic. We were talking about some of the movies and the documentary yeah. documentaries and stuff about right. the hormones and the things they put in our meat. And no wonder you know girls are starting their menstrual cycles at yeah. eight and nine. And you know I mean and we're all overweight. And you know this is just a right. country of just a lot of messed up things. So. Right. Our bodies just were meant. To they weren't meant to take in things additional like that. We were meant to digest food, not extra hormones and antibiotics, things like that. Our body just wasn't ever meant to take that in. And I know Trish, for example, you know, talking about how you mentioned young girls and different things like that, I know that's what brought her so closely into this and her, sparked her interest because she has children. She's a mother. Mm -hmm. okay. And Trish, that's, you can kind of talk about yeah. why you decided this lifestyle was yeah I mean as important. a mom you know you want your kids to be healthy but yet we still like convenience too Absolutely. because you know we're we're so busy running around football practice and and dance and all that so but I read a lot of books about health and how I can um, you know feed my children good quality food well um, you know we don't do the fast food anymore but you know at Sarah's store at the truck patch you can get the good quality food and you can get some convenience too because they sh they sell chicken strips <laughs> and french fries they just don't have the added chemicals and the added ingredients that that's not good for our bodies the preservatives and all that so you can get a good pizza there you know if you you're running late and you've got to get the kids to practice mm -hmm. you can put in a pizza or something but you can actually feel good about that exactly <laughs> yeah, i don't i don't feel yeah. bad yeah, yeah i just i just do that so it's it's a great place to shop for moms too so now it's a little bit intimidating I think for some people with those yeah. specialty stores cost wise mm -hmm. and I know that when you think about the big picture um, your health what's it worth to you but right is exactly. it about comparable like to a market or going to Walmart or something like that there are some products that if you'll go look they will be nearly identical in price and there's some that won't but it's just as if with most things in life you kind of get what you pay for mm -hmm. you know That's if true. you if you want quality foods that are gonna that your body's gonna respond be better to mm -hmm. to get actual nutrition in your body, sure. you know, you're gonna need um, the the higher quality foods, which is what we sell. You know, cheap food, um, or actually junk food is is has become because it's all manufactured much cheaper than at mm -hmm. good quality food, which is really un unfortunate, mm -hmm. you know, that, that that's the way it is. But um, there are a lot of things that are very comparable. Our bulk, you can shop our bulk uh, section and you can actually save money. 
there are lots of ways you can save money by shopping this way as, as well. As a mom, for the, the cereals, mm -hmm. Um, they're actually probably lower than yeah, some, some of the grocery stores. Hmm. They've got some cereals that are lower and they don't have, you know, like I said, the, the added chemicals that right. makes our kids hyper. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's worth everything because how much do we pay for medicines to put mm, our kids exactly. on when they're, yeah, exactly. they come in all the time to the clinic with attention right. deficit and all that. And, you can limit that. Well, I bet you can talk a whole lot about that. And <laughs> we might zoom in. I don't know if you can see Stevie's got all sorts of neat stuff over there. And I'm just going to let you kind of run with your favorite stuff. Well, I'd like to just introduce first, you know, how I even got involved with, you know, the health food industry. And, and when I moved to Arizona and went to college there, um, I was studying in the health field. And actually, when I went to the health food store that was in Tempe, Arizona, I found that that the health food store actually was a better education than what was being offered in college at the time. Uh, it was really hard to find things about nutrition. So um, I um, learned, took all the literature that I could find, uh, just looking at all the products that were in the store, finding out that you know there was a replacement for white sugar products, for white flour products, for hydrogenated fats and and uh, margarines and uh, all the all the different uh, options that are available. Really, uh, I didn't feel like I was spending more money, but I was actually getting educated on how to choose healthy fruits and vegetables. I start my whole diet changed because of going into a health food store. And actually, it's a learning center because everything that's in the store is going to teach you something about, you know, nutrition. And the the supplement room was one place where I always spent a lot of time in the health food store. And when you start looking at labels. Uh, you start realizing that a lot of products that are on the market, because it costs so much for each one of these ingredients, they're going to pick sometimes very cheap uh, ingredients. And so there might be a vitamin out there that's a multiple vitamin for less than $10, but what's in it? And sometimes they're putting so many fillers and binders and food colorings and, and uh, chemicals that you don't even know what they are. And what you're really wanting is, is, is the foods that feed our body so that it can function properly and things that will uh, protect the body from damage, like free radical um, scavengers, what are called antioxidants. So when, you, when I look at a formula, this whole formula educates people about nutrition. And so if people would just come in and investigate and, and ask questions, I can actually teach a whole seminar just on this one supplement Yes, he here. can. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, there's not as much time we have today, but just the, the hundreds of nutrients that are in this compared to, say, 25 vitamins and minerals that are in most, most supplements, you're going to get food-based uh, uh, green foods, uh, herbs, Chinese herbal tonics that help build the immune system that alkalize the body, mineralize the body better than just the individual vitamins and, and minerals that you'll find. And so the, each supplement here is a whole education. If people would just come in and, and ask questions, that's the best way for them to learn. You know, it's kind of funny. In um, college, I thought that I had chronic fatigue. I was convinced I had some horrible disease. Mm -hmm. I was sick. I felt bad all the time. And I was from that generation of fast food, hamburgers, all that stuff. And right, I was too. Went weeks without thinking, have I had if I had a vegetable and how long, mm -hmm. you know? And once I started getting into a regimen of supplements and eating right, all that went away. So I guess what I'm trying to say is to people out there who you feel bad, you feel like you've got mm -hmm. fibromyalgia, you feel like you've got chronic fatigue, you just mm -hmm. don't feel good. Think a minute about what you're taking into your body. That's right. And you know, it doesn't take very long to like say, come in and take advantage of your services mm -hmm. and get oh, educated yeah. a little bit about what they're doing. Yeah, and we really believe that, that our bodies are self-healing, that, that it, there's a self-healing mechanism inside our body. Just like when we cut ourselves, it heals. We don't have to, a lot of times, do anything. But if we don't have the right nutrients, people can, you know, bleed more than they need to, or they won't form up a, you know, scab. And so uh, the body needs uh, proper nutrition, and it needs to be clean. So there's several products we have too that are not just, um, you know, nutritional, but are cleansing herbs. Like we have a a, a total cleanse that cleans the, the bowels, the, the liver, the kidney, the blood, and the lymph, all with one product. And very gradual. They don't have to worry about, 
you know, taking a week off and fasting. Diarrhea. And, and, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, being yeah, near, yeah. near yeah. the bathroom all the time. They can do it if they're normal lifestyle and very gradual. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of these products are, are designed so that uh, it doesn't uh, cause them to have to go to a, a retreat somewhere yeah. and, and they can get the benefit. Well, we're going to take a little break just a okay. minute, if that's okay. We're going to come back. We're going to talk some more about a few different products you've got. And I see the Mag Calm. I love that stuff. That's yeah. great for yeah. sleep. So we're going to talk a few things about the things that might help you now. So hang tight. We'll be back in just a few minutes.